Hi everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby. If you're new here, then welcome. Please take a seat. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my first ever monthly favourites video. I'm really, really excited about this. I've not done one before, hence why it's my first good one. Yeah, I'm excited about it. We're just going to chat about a few of the things that are completely and utterly fabulous this month, in my own personal opinion. I'm not going to ramble for too long before the start of this video. We're just gonna get straight onto it. It's raining outside today, it's completely pelting it down, so I apologise if you can hear that. I apologise if you can hear music, banging, noises, anything else. It's pretty loud where I am here today. Hey ho, before we get on into it, if you're not subscribed already to my channel, please do make sure you go down and do that so you don't miss any content in the future. Give us a cheeky little like and a comment while you're down there if you fancy it. Without further ado, let's get cracking. The first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today is this facial is it facial oil it's a rose hip oil this is from sukin i talked about this to you guys in a haul i did recently i think it was a super dragon boots one if you haven't seen it i'll link that down below this is just the organic rose hip oil from sukin i bought this so that i could partake in some face yoga exercises you know i'm a yoga fan I wanted to get into face yoga as well. We want the whole shebang, you know? We don't want to miss out on anything. So I picked this up to kind of help with some of the movements and things like that. I love this. I did say in the previous video that it does have kind of a funky smell. It's not like the nicest smelling thing. I thought it would smell a lot like rose. Maybe rose hip and rose are quite different. I literally, no idea. It just does smell very like plasticky. I don't know if that's the right word. I think I described it as like plasticine in the last video. It's quite like earthy. I don't know if that's the right scent to go with. But I did say in the last video, and I would stick to this now, the scent of it really doesn't bother me. I use a lot of other products before I go to bed, which is when I use this. So it's kind of outweighed with all the other smells. You don't really tend to smell it too much. So I really like this. The formula is really hydrating. I use this instead of moisturiser before bed now. That's kind of how hydrating it is. I'm not noticing any extra dryness or anything like that. I love this. I picked it up for about £11, I think, but it was on offer from about 18 So it's not too cheap, but I'd say it's worth it. I've been using it for... When did I buy this? Two or three weeks, maybe four. And I use more than it recommends. It says to use like two to three drops. I use seven but <laughs> I really want the hydration, you know? So it hasn't really used too much of it considering I use it every night and I'm using a fair amount. It's, it's holding up quite well. So that is my first favorite this month. I would definitely recommend it. And if you want to know any more about this, then you can check on the website. I'll leave the link down below or hit me up with a message and we can have a little chat about it. The next product, which is one of my favorites this month is this. This is the Strong Soul palette from Revolution. I have used this in a couple of my makeup videos before actually. I've got this as a free gift from Superdrug when I placed an order with them. Wasn't expecting it at all, but it's turned into one of my favourite things in my makeup bag at the moment. I use it most days. So it's a face palette and it looks like that inside. You've got your bronzers, contour, I guess it's like a contour palette. Yeah, contour palette. It is a contour palette. Um, <laughs> these two darker shades and these two lighter shades. This shade here is actually a highlight shade. It is a stunning highlight shade, I'll tell you that. Let me try and... You see, it's like really subtle and it's not too overpowering. It's a really, really nice over liquid highlighter and just on its own. I really like it. I use that probably the most as well as the bronzer. This one is definitely too dark for me. So maybe like an eyeshadow shade or something like that. And this one I haven't used yet, but I'm sure I will. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly how much this one is. If I can find it, I will put it in the description box below. But I really like this and I wanted to include it because I'm just using it all the time. So it's definitely a favourite at the moment. And it's good for those kind of basic, simple makeup looks, which we're all kind of going for at the moment, I think, because we're not really still going anywhere. <laughs> we're still just at home a lot of the time. So this is perfect for me. Another little makeup thing I thought I would chuck in here is these two lip glosses. I've talked about these before. These are lip glosses from Lottie London. They are the Imagination Ultra Gloss Glow. Two glosses from that collection. I've really got back into gloss lately. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why I stopped. But lately, like I say, going for a really simple makeup look. These have been a staple just to kind of snazz up 
a basic makeup look, you know? So I've got the pink one and I've got the clear one. They're both stunning. They smell like sweets. I don't know if you can still sell them anymore, but I know that they obviously do other glosses on the Lottie London website. So you can check them out. I'm pretty sure there'll be a similar formula. So I'll pop anything I can find in the description box below. Anything I can find or will find will be in the description box below. So you can, side note, you can check that out after if you fancy it. So yeah, I thought I'd pop these back in there. They're not new or anything like that, but I thought we'd whack them in here because they've been making a strong appearance in my everyday life at the moment, so. Next, we have this Urban Decay All Nighter. <laughs> it is called All Nighter. This is the setting spray from Urban Decay. This, I'm obsessed with. It's not necessarily a new product for me. I've had it a while, but I haven't really used it that much. And I didn't really know, like I underestimated how well it worked until I've been using it lately. I've always kind of been like, oh, setting sprays don't work. They're not really, you know, you can do without. And yeah, you can do without, like, don't get me wrong. I go plenty of days without putting any on. But if I really know I'm gonna, if I know I'm gonna be out for a long time, like the whole day, or you just like, you've done a fancy look and you don't want it to go to waste. I'm chucking some of this on, it's fantastic. I know I'm late to the game. I know we already know this is fantastic. I know, but it's in my favorites for this month because I love it. So yeah, I'm not sure how much this is. This one was a gift. I feel like this is like a tenner or is it more? I don't know. Check the description box, we'll see. Next up, we have this almond nail and cuticle oil. This is from the body shop. This is my holy grail. I love a cuticle oil. I find them so nice and hydrating and nourishing and they're perfect for if I've like done my nails, I've given like myself a little manicure. This tops off and makes it feel like <laughs> I've paid for the job. Do you know what I mean? It smells incredible. It just, mmm, yum. It's so nice. I feel like this is quite an expensive one though. Like you can definitely get cheaper cuticle oils, don't get me wrong, but this one I really like. You just like turn the end. I don't want to push too much out because then it'll... <laughs> you turn the end and then it comes out and it's a little brush, which is like the perfect applicator for me because you can choose how much you have and you like paint it on. Oh dreamy and this this i've been using a lot while we've been at home and not doing a lot my hands have been getting so dry from hand sanitizer and washing them all the time obviously so along with a nice hand cream this bad boy has been working wonders for my cuticles angels okay just saying pick yourself up one the final product i want to talk to you about today is this this is the mark hill heat protecting spray i talked about this in my latest vlog i think i picked this up when i went to southampton last weekend i think so last week <laughs> no yes last weekend christ now i wanted to pop this in here anyway but i have only used this once so this is like a very new favorite but i'm so so glad i picked this up I'm so glad I've got myself finally a nice heat protecting spray because I said I wanted one. It smells really nice, like so, so nice. And I was worried that if you shake it, it's got glitter in it, like a shimmer, the glitter in there. Looks really nice. But I was really concerned it was gonna make my hair glittery and I was like, that's not what I want. <laughs> that's not what we're after. I can confirm it does not. It just makes it smell nice. I felt so much better blow drying my hair after putting this on I was like do you know what gals she's safe under there with this little heat protecting spray she's all good no worries nothing to worry about I felt good so I wanted to chuck this one in here just to let you know that I really like it and it's definitely going to be following through maybe to next month's favourites we'll have to see this one was seven eight pounds maybe seven pounds something and I picked this up from Boots so I'm sure you can get it from other places as well as I say check the description box I'll see where I can find a nice link for it but that is the final product that I wanted to talk to you about in this week's monthly this week's this month's monthly favorites excellent how did I do guys did you enjoy it thank you very much I really enjoyed filming this one I hope you guys did too and I will definitely definitely be trying to do some more monthly favorites I definitely kind of wish there was more that I could have talked about in this video but at the moment I'm keeping everything quite simple. Um, I'm still, I'm not back working yet. So I am spending a lot of time at home still and obviously not much is open. So I haven't really been out anywhere. As I know is the same for a lot of people. So I'm keeping like my makeup and my skincare and everything like, it's just the same. I'm keeping it simple. I'm not like, I'm not out to buy loads of new things. So I hope that you enjoyed the things I did talk about. They are definitely serving me well at the moment. And I would definitely recommend every single one of them if you are looking for anything new 
from this selection. So I think that's it guys. Um, I really, really enjoyed filming this so thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it then don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel for more content like this coming your way very soon. If there is anything particularly you want to see from me please do let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, that really helps up my channel as well. Anything else we need to ramble on about? Don't think so, no. That's it, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Love you all so much, have a fantastic day, stay safe, and I will see you very, very soon. Take care.